Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning advanced code writer for tutorials. This is our partner 15. Inside this video, we will see a concept that is how to use truncate methods with database. Let's say that we have a coordinator for setup. As we know that to interact with the database for all DB operations, we have three different options available. Either we can use raw queries, second, query builder class, third, model based concept. So how to use truncate methods with all those methods we will see inside this video. So first of all, if I back to editor, we need a code igniter for setup and here it is. Now to support this video, we have an article over this blogging website. If you go inside this articles, code igniter for now inside this code igniter for articles gallery we can see that code igniter for truncate and empty table methods so first of all what basically truncate means truncate means we are going to delete entire rows entire data set from a database table and after truncating a table the id means auto incremented id of that table will start from one index if I back to editor and go inside this app controllers, let's open a simple controller that is home.php and also if I click on this article link, now inside this controller, first of all, we will see the truncate method using raw query. So to run raw queries, as we know that we need to create a database instance. So let's create that public function construct this is a php construct method and inside this we will create a database instance let's create a database variable private db let's set this db we will use db connect helper function this helper function loads database and creates instance and we are storing instance inside this database variable so by using this db we will execute our raw queries so let's remove this view file from here so this db and by using this database instance we will call a query method and inside this query method we can write our truncate query so before writing any query here just remember about truncate query of mysql simply we will have a syntax in mysql as truncate table and table name if i back to blog article scroll down click on truncate methods so here inside this truncate method section we can see inside code igniter 4 query execution process includes raw query query builder class and model based query so first of all we need to create database instance to execute raw queries and next here we have our truncate query syntax so this is a mysql syntax truncate table as a keyword and then table name so simply if i will copy the syntax go here pasting it here either you can use this syntax truncate table and table name we have another alternative syntax that is truncate and table name either you can include table as a keyword and without table as a keyword so let's say that this application is now connected with this database and inside this database we have few tables to understand this concept like tbl underscore blocks and inside this table we have some dummy row entries as we can see id1 id2 and id3 let's use truncate method truncate query to delete all the data set all the data rows from this tbl underscore blocks table so simply if we are executing raw queries truncate table and we need to pass the table name so this is tbl underscore blocks already we have connected this application with this database so that's why we are executing queries with tbl underscore blocks table now if i save all these changes first of all let's open routes.php to see the execution of this index method and if we go and open simply welcome page it will call 
home and index method so first of all we need to start development server already started if i go and type localhost 8080 port if i press enter and our query has been executed if i back to database click on browse and as you can see that tbl underscore blocks now empty this is what actually we have executed truncate method inside tbl underscore blocks table let's see the second option to interact with the database that is using query builder class so first of all we need to create a query builder object so if i back to blog article using query builder class here is the syntax to create a query builder instance so simply if i will copy this syntax go here inside this editor now we don't need this database variable go inside directly inside this index method remove this raw query and this is what actually we are creating query builder instance and one more thing that also we need our database instance here so let's create public function construct and inside this this db equals to db connect and let's declare database variable so by using this db this db we will create our builder instance and here inside this table name we need to pass our table name so here inside this database to understand the query builder class i have taken the second table as tba underscore blocks to if you go inside this table also we have three means dummy rows inside this table i will copy the table name go here pasting it here so simply we are creating a builder instance query builder instance by using this tb underscore blocks too now by the help of this builder instance we will call truncate method if i go inside this article now here we can see that we have two syntax available to use truncate method that is builder using truncate method and builder using empty table method so let's say that we are going to use this truncate method so simply builder instance builder and simply calling truncate method we can also use empty table method so if i save this change go and again reload this route because we are using index method so if i reload this page go inside our table called tbl underscore blocks to reload this page and as we can see that all the rows of this tb underscore blocks to now deleted and this is what we have used the truncate method using query builder instance also we can use empty table here simply empty table now let's see the third concept using model based concept if we are interacting with the database for all the db operations using model based so inside model based instance how can we use the empty table or let's say the truncate method so first of all to use model based concept we need to create a model so here for the third concept we have a third table called tb underscore blocks 3 again inside this table we have three different rows but this time we will empty truncate this table using concept of model so let's create a model which is associated or interacting with this table tb underscore blocks 3 go here close this development server php spark make model and we need to pass our model name so let's say that create blocks 3 table this is our model class name so if i press enter it will create a model file go inside this editor app folder inside app inside app go inside models and here we have create blocks 3 table and inside this table variable as we can see here we have the table name but as we know that our table name is something table underscore blocks 3 so i will copy 
and replace with the name now when we create any instance of this model then automatically it will go and interact with this table go here inside this home.php now inside this third case we don't need any more about this database instance because this time we are not interacting with the raw queries or we are not interacting with the query builder class simply we need to load our model so let's say that use create block 3 table so this is our model of block 3 table let's create a object new create blocks 3 now we have successfully created an instance so before use if I back to article here we have a third approach using model based concept so simply we have created an object and by the help of mob object actually we can call the same methods like truncate empty table what we have seen inside this query builder approach so go here simply let's say object and we will use let's say truncate but this time I will use empty table now if I save this change go here reload this page and first of all let's start our development server php spark serve go and reload query executed go and reload this tbl underscore blocks 3 table and as we can see that all the rows now deleted so this is what actually we had seen the concept of truncate methods with the database using all the three approaches of coordinator 4 raw queries query builder class and our model based concept so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day